Hi. Here with you, weather. Yes, okay. um, it is your good day. And today we're gonna do a Good morning, I'm Peyton. And I'm Cheyenne. Today is Friday, January 24th. And it's a great day to be a Panther. At this time, please stand for the pledge. And remain standing for the Panther Pledge. I pledge allegiance Your breakfast choices for Monday are bacon, egg, and cheese croissants and French toast sticks. For lunch today, you have a choice of corn dog nuggets, Philly chicken cheese steak, and Mr. Sharon's favorite cookies. Amen to that. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Whoop, whoop. To Ricky Mick, Michael Pulley, and Lily Johns. Our weekend birthdays are Corden Panero, Lucas Tenor, Emma Human, and Levi Tenor. Hi, I'm Tom Terry, and we're here with your weather update today. I'm just Cheyenne. Okay. Today's high is 76 and a low of 57. There is a 25% chance of rain. This way, this oh way. Oh my gosh, Coach is coming in. This way, this way. <laughs> Hello, Coach. This way. Here. Oh, there we go. No, where, where are you going? Where are you going? We're on live TV here. Oh, Coach, 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 Coach,
Maya laughed. <laughs> she was cool and really good at sports. Better than me and Julio. She had a skateboard and a brown belt in Taekwondo. She was born somewhere in China. The Mediros family adopted her. We were sitting on a sandy rise under a stand of iron trees just above the beach. It was a breezy Thursday morning, and we pretty much had the place to ourselves. The kiteboarder swung around and raced toward shore. When he got as close as he could before hitting sand, he slowed and sank to his knees. His kite settled down onto the water like a small parachute. He stepped out of his wakeboard and pulled his kite in, then spread it out in the sand. Hey, he said, you kids mind watching my gear? I need to run over to the pavilion. Sure. I sprang to my feet. Thanks. Be right back. The guy dropped his wakeboard harness, the control bar, and headed up over the rise. The wakeboard was black with red stripes. It had foot grips and looked new. Nice. I glanced over my shoulder to see if the guy was coming back. Nope. I wagged my eyebrows at Julio and Maya. Watch this. I stepped onto the foot straps. Bring on the wind. You better get off that, Calvin, Maya said. I picked up the control bar, which was attached by cables to the kite spread out on the beach. Yee-haw! I gave the cables a flip. The kite caught a puff of wind, rose a foot, and settled back down. Oh, man, this was so cool. I grinned at Maya and, Julie and Julio. Just then, a strong gust whooshed down the beach and caught the kite. The kite blossomed and snapped up off the sand. Calvin! Maya pointed. I was still grinning at them when the wind grabbed the kite and whomped it out like a sail. It shot down the beach, ripping the control bar right out of my hands. Grab it, Julio shouted. I leaped off the wakeboard and stumbled after it, Maya yelling, get it, get it, it's flying away. The control bar bounced along the sand just out of reach. I skipped out over the water, came back over the sand, and skipped out again. I dove for it and landed on my belly, but I managed to grab the bar and hang on. The wind was strong. I couldn't slow the escaping kite. It dragged me over the shallow water on my stomach. It fishtailed me up onto the sand, then back into the water again. Calvin, Maya shouted, racing down the beach with Julio. I bounced and banged over the water, swallowing salty gups of ocean. Calvin, let go, Julio called. You'll drown. But I would never let go. A quarter mile down the beach, the wind finally let up. The kite sank onto the sand. I sank into the water, gripping the control bar with white knuckles. Julio grabbed the kite. Maya waded into the waves. You all right? I staggered up coughing. <coughs> Maya grinned when she saw that I was okay. Just soaked, bruised, scratched, and covered with sand. You look like you fell into a cement mixer. Uh-oh. Julio nodded toward the pavilion. The kiteboard guy was racing toward us, shouting, Hey! What's going on? He ran up, breathing hard. The wind grabbed your kite, mister. I handed him the control bar. We, um, we saved it. The guy looked at me, then at Julio, with the kite bunched and overflowing in his arms. I must have been careless. Hey, thanks for running it down for me. Yeah, no problem. He laughed. No problem? You look like roadkill. He gathered up his equipment and started back up the beach. Hey, I called. The guy stopped and turned back. Are you a famous kiteboarder? Psh, I wish. I frowned at Julio. You idiot. Julio shrugged. Maya pointed at my arms and chest. Yikes, blood. I looked down. Cuts and scratches ran across me like spider webs. Cool. Maya stared at me. I think you might be the idiot, Calvin. And I think you're probably right, I grinned. Julio slapped my back. You sure know how to end summer with a bang, bro.